I, can I get a large coffee, please, with six cream? All right, this is your daily cuteness video right here. Cutest thing ever. Does he have an acorn? What's he eating? Nonchalant squirrel, we love him. He's famous around these parts. He's pretty bold. And he always hangs out around the shop. I see today he's got himself a good lunch there. What a cutie patootie. Now when I get back from McDonald's, this is the time when I jazz up my coffee a little more to make it bulletproof coffee, which it really just becomes, um, holds you over like a meal. So I've just got my cream and my coffee. I've come to love the taste of just butter in my coffee. A little bit of our MCT oil. And last but not least, I'm working on this final bottle of skinny syrup, zero calories, zero sugar. And this one is caramel, so it's a great way to sweeten my coffee. Mmm, yum. So guys, one of the projects that I've wanted to do around my studio is painting this wooden cutout. I got it at the Dollar General. I think I paid $2 for it and it's called Color In Wood Shape. And um, in, my, in my studio here, I have two closet doors that are just painted plain white. You may have seen them in the past, but I'm really thinking about um, painting these and putting it on my doors, on my closet doors, to make them look really interesting. I think that'll be really cool. So what we're gonna do today is paint these. So we'll get started with the very first one today. And it is just a wooden cutout, and um, it's got this really pretty design on it. So I'm gonna grab my Junk Monkey Chocolate style paints and you guys can watch as this fills in and comes to life and then we'll do a test to see what it looks like on my door because if I really love it I'm probably gonna want one on all my doors up here even like my bathroom door my closet doors my door to the studio my studio is definitely done in boho shabby and uh, so anyway let's check this out I am definitely a connoisseur of collecting fun cups to be able to hold my um, my paint stuff in polka dots and all that good stuff owls and um, you know, mason jars, a good old classic mason jar. So I'm gonna pick a few small brushes out of here, like this is gonna be a good one right here, and we're gonna go to town. I'm gonna pick a bunch out, I've got my water on standby, and let's make this design come to life. seal this with banana peel or with our monkey shine it really doesn't make a difference my banana peel is close to me so I'm going to grab this and so what it will do is provide just a protective finish over it because it is a door I'm gonna go ahead and um, just put a, a layer of protection over it to help save and protect all that work that I just did so this is this is banana peel it's our water-based poly and when you put it on it's gonna look like a white color but it dries clear so use the use it as a guide to see what you have sealed and what you haven't sealed let's get that sun here all right now i'm just going to go ahead 
wipe this all over. I'm gonna dry clear. Just really makes the colors pop even more so. So get enough just thinking about all the ideas that you could do with this. You could like glue this right onto a dresser if you really wanted to make it stand out and look amazing. But I'm gonna go ahead and put mine on my closet door. So I'm not gonna need this little doohickey right here. I'm gonna chop that with a little bit of burlap string. Ooh, even better, now it will lay flat. All right, so this is my plain Jane door here. It's just painted white. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glue gun and just put some glue on the back of it. A bunch of glue. Wow, you're like, you're like, like what? Van Gogh with that. Yeah, right? <laughs> you should have asked me to paint a design. I would have. Totally would have. By the way, this glue gun's awesome. I'll link it below if anybody needs a good, good, good glue gun. A good, 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 I think that'd be cute right there. Yeah? Fire. Yeah? Fire. Fire in the hole. Fire. All right, let's hold it on. All right. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. This is the fun part where you just get to stand there and we'll, be, we'll have awkward silence. Yes. While you're waiting for it to dry. Don't say anything. Shh, do, 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 do. Nope. Shh, shh, shh. Awkward silence. <laughs> All right. Got to hold it in the spot long enough for it to dry. This would be a nice door to eventually paint and glaze all these inlays. Can you imagine if I did this in a teal river or even like in one of the colors that I used here, how pretty that would be to pop. But for right now, this is gonna definitely give a whole new look to this door. Oh my gosh, I love it, it's cute, it's cute. All right, I'm digging that, I'm totally digging that. Like I was saying earlier, if you want, you could use these, like, you know, put keep the string onto it and even like have shabby swags. And this could be like the medallion that kind of hangs in between the shabby swags. So pretty. But you guys know me right here. Case in point, I do love me my ruffles and my flowers and designs. And so anyway, this totally is boho shabby. That's one win, thing we'll never agree on. What's that? These? Yes. Oh, they're so pretty and I don't even have to water them. So it's coming up to three o'clock. There's just a few minutes before three o'clock and right now I'm getting ready to go live into my um, creative coaching group. It's called Monkey Business. We get down to business, you know what I'm saying? Even though it is a business group um, on Mondays, I always talk on a different topic to help uh, my friends be able to grow their creative businesses on Wednesdays to take any questions that anybody has has and then on Fridays which is today I like to let the paint fly and just do something creative so today I'm gonna show them how um, I do what I personally just call stacking stencils and showed the girls how to do layered stencils which was super cute I love it right love it love it love it look at that little fishy right there so what I'm gonna do now is continue to fill out the cover to bring it all together so it looks absolutely amazing so you'll probably see me finish this up over at Jug Monkey Paint Company on Facebook but uh, yeah like love Mr. Moose today we're going to make use of leftover cheese sauce from the cheesy cauliflower you could take this if you're actually still eating carbs put this on your toast instead of cheese whiz it's delicious but in the pan we have about 10 ounces of meat that I had left over. I'm going to introduce half of an onion chopped and minced garlic towards the end of it. I'm going to show you a couple secret ingredients that's going to turn this into cheeseburger dip. I'm going to move the onion in there and I'm going to cook the burger with the onion. Now I'm hitting it with the garlic straight in. Since we're almost done browning and I don't want my garlic to burn. In a medium pan, we're gonna take that cheese sauce and we're just gonna throw it in there over medium heat. We're gonna take a slotted spoon to get rid of the grease and add our meat into it for the secret ingredient. As we're mixing this up and it's heating up and starting to cook down a little bit, we're gonna take a couple ingredients that's gonna make, they might not seem like they'll make a big difference, but they'll make a huge difference in the taste and the experience. Freeze dried chives. These are gonna help with color and the flavor. And now, the big secret ingredient. 
tablespoon of Claussen pickle juice. And we're just gonna heat this up. Can you smell it? Mm-hmm. So Matt has grabbed himself some pork rinds. Mm. It's a cheeseburger. Quick, easy, and it takes care of those left pesky leftovers you had. You didn't know what you're doing with. But this is perfect for this game day weekend. Enjoy. Uh, I just ate way too much of that. And you could probably still go back for more. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it's really good. Adam approves as well. I do. So good. Just eating the leftovers, what's there, right? And so, anyway, that was a great recipe. So hopefully you guys try it too. Thank you so much. I'm gonna close out the vlog here. Thank you for spending another day here on the vlog with me. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell. What it does is it notifies you every time we do another upload, which is gonna be quite regularly around these parts. So thanks for hanging out with us. Hopefully you guys are learning lots and having fun along the way. See you tomorrow.